Great. You've got your tree seeds. Now how do you get them to germinate? Soak in boiling water. Cut with a knife. File a piece off. Break the skin. Put it in a baggie with sparkling moss. Put them in the fridge for four weeks. Sometimes, if you want to germinate seeds, you wonder, have they gone mad? What happened to seeds just falling from the sky, hitting the ground running and germinating and growing? Why all this effort? Hi, this is Jelle, growing bonsai. We're germinating seeds. Where do you get your seeds? Um, of course, you can go on the internet and there's very nice packages of seeds. Um, Starter kits for bonsai, what do I think of them? Where do I get my seeds? Fortunately, there's lots of places on the internet where you can find bonsai seeds or tree seeds. And if you look at this gorgeous packaging, they promise you ancient looking pines. Of course, if you want an ancient looking pine, you buy an ancient pine. These things say, take decades to grow to this size and this age and a nice park. So if you start growing from seed, be realistic in what you can expect within a couple of years. So get your tree seeds. Now I don't go to an online tree seed dealer that sells bonsai kits. And why not? Because you get a package of seeds. You don't know how old it is. You don't know how fresh it is. And that determines whether it germinates or not. And if you go to an actual tree seed dealer, you'll get a much better deal. You get a bag of maybe 500 seeds for a few bucks, rather than paying 30 bucks for a whole box with five species of which you only want one, um, where you get tiny little pots that you don't really need. So I go to an online tree seed dealer. Look for it online. There's plenty of different sites that you can use. Look for the reviews because some sites are better than the others. And yeah, just buy in bulk. If you can buy them 500 seats or 1000 seats for 10 or 20 or 30 euros, then you are on the right type of website. Great. You've got your tree seats. Now, how do you get them to germinate? There are a lot of online tutorials on how to grow trees from seed. Because basically that's the first thing you're doing. You're not growing a bonsai, you're just growing a tree from seed. Um, it sounds a lot easier than it sometimes is. And I know that a lot of people who first try to grow seeds, they feel miserably, the seeds just don't germinate. Um, there's two main reasons for it. One, of course, you bought seeds and the seeds are, they're old, they're dead. You can just toss them away. But more often than not, people don't treat the seeds in the right way. In order to prevent seeds from germinating, um, plants have devised a number of different strategies. And they are basically based on either dependence on temperature so the seeds need to go through winter or they're dried out and they need to absorb water again. Getting tree seeds to germinate means that you need to break the dormancy. Now what's dormancy? Dormancy is a state of rest. Um, when the seeds mature on the tree, the tree withdraws all the water from it. So they become fairly dry and the seeds wait for better times effectively. Now, if you look at a maple, that means that the seeds, they germinate normally somewhere in early spring, late winter, but they ripen in fall. So between fall and spring, what happens to them? Well, they sit in the substrate. They sit between the leaves and they are moist and they just go through natural temperature cycles. So there you go. You take your maple seeds, you plant them in a pot, you put them for six weeks in a cold weather or what people often do, they put them in a fridge and then they germinate, right? Well, no. These maple seeds that I have here, they're really dry. They have been stored. They've been stored for weeks and they've dried out. And at a certain point when maple seeds dry out too far, and that could be a couple of weeks indoors already, then they need to wake up again and be susceptible to the cold. It is important to realize that you don't need to do all the treatments on all the seeds, of course. It's very specific to the species that you're trying to germinate, what sort of treatment is needed. As every species is different in the dormancy of the seeds and how to break the dormancy, you will need to search around a little bit for the species name and breaking seed dormancy. If you put that in a search engine, you typically find a couple of websites that will give you recommendations on how to do this. There's a few terms that you would need to understand before you can understand what the recommendations are. 
um, the two main terms that you need to realize are scarification and stratification. The process in which seeds are soaked in water and then put in a warm or cold environment for a couple of weeks before they can germinate is called stratification. So if you read somewhere warm stratification, it means make sure the seeds are warm, make sure they're moist, and warm can be just room temperature. It doesn't need to be really warm. And cold stratification, it means temperatures between freezing and maybe 10 degrees above. A second method that uh, tree seeds have to make sure that they don't germinate is by having an, a seed coat that is impenetrable to water. And normally that's not a problem because those are often seeds that are eaten by birds. So they pass through the digestive tract and with that the outer skin of the seed is gone and water can penetrate more easily. Now what we can do to break the seed coat is to take a file and file off a bit of the outer layer or for bigger seeds gently tap with a hammer so it cracks. Um, put it in a bath of acid. So those are common techniques to help those seeds along to germinate. That is what is often referred to as scarification. So if you read somewhere you need to scarify the seeds, that is what they mean. You need to break the skin of the seed so that water can enter more easily. Make sure if you do this that you do not break the embryo that is inside. So always very gently file a side of a seed and never the attachment point of the seed to the plant. How do I go about it? Well, the maple seeds that I bought were very dry. So I just put them in lukewarm water. Basically water that if you put your hand in it, you don't feel whether it's warm or cold. I wait for 24 hours. I plant them in a regular pot with coarse substrate. And I put the seeds in the pot. Cover it with substrate. Water it well. Then because they are really dry, I'll put them in a warm spot. Probably in my basement that is about 15, 16 degrees. And let it sit there for a couple of weeks. And in two or three weeks, I'll put it outside. Outside, I have pieces of slate and I put that on top of the pot so that rodents can't get at it. This way, they'll just have to stay until spring. And in early spring, say March, I'll take a peek. And as soon as the first plants start poking their heads up, I take the slate away and let the plants grow in the full sun. Now that's for maples. I also have pine here. These are pine seeds. Now pine seeds are quite different. Um, they come from somewhat drier climates and quite often these seeds all they need is warm weather and water to wake up. Yet if you look for Pinus Thunbergi, the black pine, the Japanese black pine, uh, online you will find lots of manuals and they say you need to put them in the fridge for a week. So cold stratify for a week. And that's true, that helps. And what it does is it brings all the seeds at the same time to germination. By putting them in cold storage for a week, make sure they're wet and soaked first, then you put them in cold storage. They germinate all pretty much at the same time. All done, ready for spring. And yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. So I know growing from seeds can be frustrating and I know that some people have a lot of difficulties, but I really can't make it more complex than this. There are lots of tutorials online who manage to make it a very difficult process. But in the end, it's about rehydrating the seeds, breaking dormancy, and that's it. And for most seeds, that means planting them in the ground, soaking them with water, and just letting them experience winter. Now, if on the first attempt, you do not get a tray like this and you just get one or two successful germinations, don't be discouraged. Um, it is not a difficult process, but it can go wrong. Some years I also don't get any germination. Sometimes if you buy seeds from an official tree seed dealer, the seeds have already been pre-treated to germinate as soon as you plant them. So it's always wise to ask if you buy seeds or check on the website what sort of treatment do these seeds need.